electric fence can be a cost-saving and efficient way to contain your livestock. But if you've never installed an electric fence before, it can be intimidating. Here are a few tips to make sure you get it done right. Look for a spot to mount the controller that's well protected from the weather. Barns and outbuildings make a good choice if they're close. Some newer models of controllers contain a housing that is weatherproof and can be mounted virtually anywhere. Once you've found the right spot, go ahead and mount the controller, but don't plug it in or turn it on just yet. To make sure your system is working correctly, you should install three 6 to 8 foot grounding rods spaced 10 feet apart and connected to each other using rod clamps and grounding wire. Drive the post into the ground with a sledgehammer or a post driver, leaving about 2 inches above the ground to attach the clamps. Then run an insulated wire from the ground post of the controller to a clamp on one of the grounding rods. Next, lay out your posts. When I install a fence, I like to use a long string pulled tight from one end post to another to make sure the fence is good and straight. Once the posts are set, install insulators to keep your system from shorting out. To run the wire, start at a point farthest away from the controller and work your way back, keeping the wire tight as you go. Most people run anywhere from one to three lines depending upon the type of livestock that they're dealing with. Once the wires have been stretched, connect them to each other using 10 to 14 gauge wire. Then run an insulated ground wire from the top line of the fence back to the controller. Before I turn the system on, I like to walk the fence line one last time to make sure that there are not any tall weeds touching the line or any other problems. Once you're ready, turn on the charger and use a voltmeter to test the lines, making sure that electricity is flowing.